All right, everybody. So next up is the rudiments. If you're a drummer, if you're going to become a drummer, if you're aspiring, you've heard about the 26 rudiments. It's like the holy grail, the Bible of drumming. I personally think that to get started, you don't really need to learn 26 rudiments. I've narrowed it down to 15 because I feel like these 15 rudiments that I'm going to demonstrate are the ones we use the most when we're playing. Um, so you can go learn the rest of them, and I encourage you to do that, but I think if you focus in on these 15, it'll get you playing much, much more quickly. So let's begin. All right, guys, first up, the most basic of rudiments, but sometimes the toughest to master, is the single stroke roll. It's simply right, left, right, left, right, left. Number two, the long buzz roll. You're doing double strokes, and then you're basically bringing it into a fine, fine buzz roll. Next up, number three, the five stroke roll. Right, right, left, left, right. One, two, three, four, five. And you can do it the other way. Left, left, right, right, left. Next one, the six stroke roll. I like to play this two ways, but I'm gonna show you one way first, which is right, left, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, right. And then I'm going to show you the way that I like to play it for ultimate speed, which is right, left, right, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, left. really work that up nice and fast and put it around the drums. That's one of the great rudiments for the drum set. The seven stroke roll. I personally like to start with the left hand and it's just seven strokes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Bop, bop, bop. There's a seven stroke roll. Next up, nine stroke roll. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Work that up. Nine stroke roll. Number seven is the power diddle. Probably everyone's favorite. I know it's one of my favorites. Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Right, left, right, right, left. Work it up. Next up, the double paradiddle. Very similar, you're just adding a few more strokes. Right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left, left. Double power diddle. Next is the rough. What we have here is two grace notes and then a main note. And you put it close together. You can do it with the left hand and the right hand playing the grace notes. That's the rough. The flam consists of two notes hitting nearly at the same time, but not quite. So 
So your right phlegm, the right hand is going to hit down there, and the left is going to hit right before it. That's the phlegm. Next up is the phlegm accent, phlegm triplet. So basically your triplets are do da di do da di do da di do da di or one two three one two three one two three one two three. You're just gonna put a flam on the first note. One two three 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 one two three. Flam accent. Number twelve is the flam paradiddle. It's a paradiddle, but you put a flam on the first note. Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Number thirteen, the triple rattle cue. I'm going to use those grace notes again, and I'm going to show you how to do it. One, two, rattle cue. That's the way we used to say it. The other hand. Triple rattle cue. The single rattle cue. Probably should have put this first, but hey. Same thing, the little drag slash rough. That's the single rhythm cue. All right, and finally, number 15 is the flam tap. I really like the flam tap. Slam tap.